Hey guys, Brian here. I uh, want to do a quick update video and kind of talk about uh, kind of my last two weeks or so. So my but uh, my last video was about <clears throat> excuse me was about my Rambo board and how I had an issue with it not being able to connect to my uh, computers. Uh, for anyone that commented on that for, with suggestions, I appreciate the uh, the suggestions there. I did end up replacing it. So I have that new board in there and that is mounted up underneath here. I'm trying to get a, a quick shot of it here. So that's mounted up underneath, out of the way of any chips. And then I also printed grommets for it here uh, to help kind of get the chips out of the way. Um, not sure how effective these will be, but we're gonna find out. So um, so yeah, I got the machine back together, firmware's flashed, we're back up and running, and I'm making a uh, second iteration of this keyboard that I that I uh, put together here so this layout isn't gonna quite work so we're gonna do a round two and as I was cutting this aluminum here this aluminum plate I was having some issues uh, big time and as you've seen in my other videos here this thin aluminum really isn't an issue for the machine so when I was cutting here I'm like well what the heck's going on here so uh, well, I think when the machine crashed, when my board fried, you know, made some not so good noises as you could imagine. And I have since done some more testing and the, the machine isn't quite cutting as I want it to, like I want it to. So I am doing a quick overhaul. I did find out that my Y axis bar here was shifted on me. I've since moved it back. I'll put some pictures uh, on screen here, but the, uh, the Y axis was shifted quite a bit in these clamps and I, I was able to tighten these down, uh, these screws down to get it a little bit tighter. So, um, so I'm actually going through and doing a quick overhaul of the machine. I'm tightening every screw and bolt and I'm finding quite a few that I can tighten. I know that, you know, we want to, you know, it's only 3d printed plastic, so you don't want to over tighten, but I am going pretty tight on the machine. Uh, right now just to make sure that we're gonna snug everything up so um, and actually I also found out my mount here is I mean that's pretty significant here so and I also my whole gantry is moving a little bit you can kind of see that so um, needless to say I have some some work to do some uh, some maintenance you know it's you know part of the part of the hobby right so I realized that I have not necessarily been nice to the machine <laughs> in the last, what, two or three weeks, but we're, uh, we're trying to find the limits here, right? Trying to see what this thing can do and we're always tuning and getting better. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update video, kind of, you know, explain where I've been or whatever, and, uh, just kind of let, you know, let you guys know what's going on. So. Uh, what I'm going to do here is get this whole thing tightened up, get the get the tool back on, and uh, see how she does. So I will keep you guys posted. Thanks.